Translation, I wish that all those calamities would happen again and again so that we can see you again and again. For seeing you means that we will no longer see repeated births and deaths. So, very, very interesting verse that Bipak, calamities, danger, that is very good if such danger and calamities remind me of Krishna. That is very good. Tattinu kampa susumikshamana bunyana evatma kritam vipakam A devotee, how he receives dangerous position. Danger must be there. Uh, danger because this place, this material world is full of dangers. These foolish persons, they do not know that. They are trying to avoid the dangers. That is struggle for existence. Everyone is trying to become happy and avoid danger. This is the material business. Atantika sukham. Atantik shuk, ultimate happiness. A man is working and thinking, let me work now very hard and let me have some bank balance. So, when I shall get old, I shall enjoy life without any working. Uh, that is the inner uh, intention of everyone. Nobody wants to work. As soon as he gets some money, he wants to retire from work and to become happy. Uh, but that is not possible. You cannot be happy in that way. Here it is said, apunar bhavadarsana. The real danger is, she is picking up apunar. Apunar means, uh, or means not. And punar bhava means repetition of birth and death. Uh, the real danger is repetition of birth and death. <coughs> that has to be stopped. And not this so called danger. This is all. Uh, the material world is full of dangers. Padang, padang, jadabhi, padang. Uh, just like if you are on the ocean. If you are on the ocean, you might have <coughs> very a strong sheep, very safe sheep. But that is not uh, safety, because you are on the sea, at any time there can be dangers. <coughs> but as you remember from your country, there was, what is that, Titanic? Uh, everything was safe, but on the first voyage it was drowned. And all important men of your country, they lost their life. So danger there must be, because in a, you are in a dangerous position. This material world itself is dangerous position. So our business is the danger must be there. The, our business should be how to cross over the sea as soon as possible. So long you are on the sea, you are on the dangerous position, however strong your sheep may be. That's a fact. See, you should not be disturbed by the sea waves. 
Just try to cross over the sea, go to the other side. That is your business. Similarly, so long we are in this material world, there must be dangerous calamities, because this is the place of calamity. So our business is, uh, even within these calamities, dangers, how we develop our Krishna consciousness, and after giving up this body, we go back to home, back to Krishna. That should be all. We should not be disturbed by the so-called calamities. They are not so-called, they are factual. So, this question was there by Arjuna to Krishna, that whatever you are speaking, it is all right, that I am not this body, I am soul. Everyone is not this body, he is soul. So on the annihilation of this body, stop there. <coughs> on the annihilation of the body, the soul will exist. But when I see my son is dying, or my grandfather is dying, I am killing, how can I solace me uh, that my grandfather is not dying, my son is not dying, they simply, it is changing, because I am accustomed to think like that. So there must be grief. So Krishna replied, yes, that's a fact. But that you must have to tolerate, that's all. There is no other way. Tang uh, Bharat. Krishna never said that these are not facts. What Arjuna explained, that I know that when my son is dying, my son is changing the body, or my grandfather is dying, changing the body, I know this. But still, because I am affectionate on the skin, so I must suffer. Uh, the Krishna replied, yes, the suffering is there because you are also on the bodily concept of life, so suffering must be there. So there is no other remedy than to tolerate. There is no other remedy. Matras parśāstu kontiya sītaśna sukha dukkha dā. Just like uh, in your country it is uh, very chilly in the morning, to take bath, a little difficult task. But does it mean that those who are devotees, they will stop taking bath? No. Even if it is chilly, cold, one must take bath. The duty must be done. The duty must be done. Even if it is little suffering, that is called tapasya. Tapasya means we must prolong or proceed with, with our Krishna consciousness, business, in spite of all dangerous and calamitous condition of this world. This is called tapasya. Tapasya means voluntarily accepting the difficulties of life. Sometimes tapasya in the system of tapasya, in hot season, uh, summer, and scorching heat of the sun, still they uh, ignite some fire all round and sit down in the maze and meditate. There are some processes of tapasya like that. In chilly cold, one goes into the water up to the neck and meditates. Uh, these things are prescribed in tapasya, but Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not give you such prescription. He gives you a very nice program. Chant, dance, and take prasadam. <laughs> Still you are unwilling. We cannot accept this tapasya. You see? We are so fallen. Susukham kartum abhyam. This is a kind of tapasya which is very easy to do and it is very pleasant, still we are not agreeable. Uh, we shall rot in the street 
lie down anywhere and everywhere, and still I shall drink and have sex and lie down. So what can be done? Huh? We are giving good facilities. Come here, chant, dance, and live very peacefully and take Krishna prasad, be happy, but people will not accept. Uh, that is called misfortune. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore said, Etadrsi tapo kripa bhagavan mamapi duddaiva idrisa miha janina anuragam. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Nam nam akari bahuda nija sattva shakti. In the uh, transcendental holy name of God, Krishna, there is all potencies. Uh, as Krishna has got uh, unlimited potencies, similarly in the name, holy name of Krishna, there is unlimited potency. Uh, so, Nam Namakari Bhoda, and there are many names of Krishna. Uh, Krishna has got thousands and thousands of names. Krishna name is the chief name. Nam Namakari Bhodan is a Sadva Shakti Tatratita Niyamita Smarani no Kala. And there is no hard and fast rule that you have to chant in this time or that time. No. Any time. Any time you can take. And the name is identical with Krishna. <coughs> On this logic, the name, holy name of Krishna is Krishna. It's no other than Krishna. Don't think that Krishna is living in Goloka Vrindavan and the name is different. Just like in material world we have got this conception. The name is different from the fact. Uh, but uh, in the absolute world there is no such difference. That is called absolute. The name is as potential as Krishna is potential. So you have got this tongue, you can chant Krishna, Hare Krishna. Immediately you become directly in touch with Krishna. Immediately. Because the name Krishna and Krishna person is not, not different, identical. So even if you think that Krishna is far, far away, Krishna is not far, far away, Krishna is within you. He is not far away. He is far away, at the same time nearest. Uh, so, even if you think that Krishna is far away, His name is there. You chant Hare Krishna, Krishna becomes immediately available. Uh, and Niyamitas. And for making Krishna available in this shortcut way, there is no hard and fast rule. You can chant any time. Immediately you get Krishna. Let's see the mercy of Krishna. Uh, therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that etadisi tavo kripa, my dear Lord, you have given me so nice facilities to contact you, but duddhaiva, my mind, I am so unfortunate. I have no attachment for this thing. I have no attachment. I have got so many attachments for other things. But I have no attachment for chanting Hare Krishna. This is my misfortune. Uh, Krishna has given so much facilities that He is present before you uh, by transcendental vibration in His name, and the name has got all the potencies of Krishna. So if you remain in contact with the name, you get all the benefit of Krishna's benediction, but still I am not. Uh, inclined to chant Hare Krishna. This is misparsal. So, a devotee uh, never takes dangerous position as very uh, reverse position or very calamitous position. He welcomes. Because a surrendered soul, he knows either danger or festival. These are all different demonstration of Krishna. Krishna is absolute. In its Shastra it is said, 
that that just like there are two uh, uh, kinds and uh, two sides, religiosity and irreligiosity, just the opposite. But in the Shastra it is said the religiosity is just the front portion of God and irreligiosity is the back portion of God. So God's front portion or back portion, is there any difference? God is absolute. Therefore a devotee either in opulence or in danger, he is not disturbed. He knows both these things are Krishna, either in dangerous position. Now Krishna has appeared before me uh, as danger. Just like Hiranyakashipu and Prahlad Maharaj and Nishingade. Nishingadev is dangerous to Hiranyakashipu. And he is uh, the supreme friend to Prahlad Maharaj, the same personality. Uh, similarly, God is never dangerous to the devotee. Uh, devotee is never afraid of danger. Uh, he is confident that the danger is that is another feature of uh, God. So why shall I be afraid? I am surrendered to him. Uh, so Kunti Devi says that vipada santu, vipada santu ta sasat, because he, she knows how to remember Krishna at times of danger. So he is, she is welcoming danger. My dear Lord, I welcome such dangers when I can remember you. Just like Prahlad Maharaj, he was always thinking of Krishna when his father was putting him in dangerous position. So if you are put into the dangerous position, and if that dangerous position gives an impetus to remember Krishna, that is welcome. That is welcome. Oh, I am getting this opportunity of remembering Krishna. So how it is welcome? It is welcome because seeing Krishna means I am advancing in my spiritual life so that I will not have to suffer any more of this dangerous position. If you become advanced in Krishna consciousness, then the result will be after giving up this body. Krishna says, after giving up this body, you don't take birth again in this material world. That is one thing. <coughs> Suppose I am very comfortable at the present moment. My body is kept in a very comfortable position, but there is death and there is another birth. So after giving up this body, if I get the body of a cat and dog, then what is the meaning of this comfortable position? Because death is sure, and janmantram, tatha dehantram, dehantram means you have to accept another body. If you do not know what kind of body you are going to get, you can know it. That is stated in the Shastra, that if you have got such and such mentality, you get such and such body. So in a comfortable position, if I keep myself in the dog's mentality, then I am going to get my next life as dog. Then what is the value of this comfortable position? I may be in comfortable position for twenty years, fifty years, or at most hundred years. And after that comfortable position, when I give up this body, if due to my mentality I become a cat and dog and mouse, then what is the benefit of this comfortable position? 
These people, they do not know that. They think, especially in this age, that I am now in comfortable position. Uh, I have got enough money, I have got enough state, I have enough comforts, enough food. So as soon as the body is finished, uh, so I am not going to take birth again. So, so long I am living, let me enjoy life. This is the modern philosophy, hedonism. But that is not the fact. Uh, Kunti is therefore anxious, apunar bhava darsanam, apunar bhava, not to repeat. If you see always Krishna, that is Krishna consciousness. Uh, Krishna consciousness means always thinking of Krishna. Your consciousness should be absorbed in Krishna thought. Therefore we give uh, different varieties of engagement, uh, Krishna consciousness. <coughs> we should not divert our energy. Uh, now when we are selling book, that is Krishna consciousness, we are selling book. But if we think that the selling book may be diverted into selling jewelry, uh, that is not very good idea. Uh, that is not a very good idea. Then we become again jeweler, Kunan Mashikabhava. Again become mouse. We should be very much careful. Uh, our Krishna consciousness cannot be diverted, then you are gone to hell. Even there is danger, even there is suffering in Krishna consciousness, we should tolerate. That is the instruction. We should welcome that danger and pray to Krishna. Uh, what is that prayer? Tatte nukampa susumikshaman. My dear Lord, uh, it is your great mercy that I am put into this dangerous position. And uh, that is the viewpoint of devotee. He doesn't take danger as danger. He takes it is Krishna's mercy. What kind of mercy? Yeah. Bhunyana evata kritam vipapa. Uh, due to my past activities, I was to suffer so much, but you are mitigating that suffering, giving me little suffering. Uh, just like a token punishment. Uh, sometimes in the court, a big man has, is um, culprit. So, so he, if the judge wants one hundred thousand dollars, he can pay immediately. Uh, but he asks for me, you just give one cent. Uh, because that is also punishment, but minimizing. Similarly, we have to suffer on account of our past deeds. That's a fact. We cannot have heart. Karmani nirdhati kintu ca bhakti vāja. But those who are in devotional service, those who are in Krishna consciousness, their sufferings are minimized. A token. Just like one wants to be killed. See, so instead of being killed with his knife, he gets some little cut on the finger. In this way, Karmani nirdhati kintu Those who are in devotional service, uh, they are ahankang sarva pape bhamakkhasyam. Krishna assures that I give you protection from the reaction of sinful life. So when there is very, very grievous criminal activities behind his, sometimes it is like that. Instead of hanging him, there may be a little cut by the knife on the finger. This is the position. So why should we be afraid of danger? Uh, we should simply depend uh, on Krishna consciousness, because if we leave Krishna consciousness in any circumstances, then my benefit is that I am not coming again in this material. Apunar uh, The repeatedly as you think of Krishna, as you see Krishna, 
as you read of Krishna, as you work for Krishna, somehow or other, if you remain in Krishna consciousness, that is your benefit. And that benefit will save you from taking birth again in this material world. And that is real benefit. Uh, and if I have become little comfortable uh, by so-called other engagement, and if I forget Krishna and I have to take birth again, then what is my benefit? We should be very much careful about this. Uh, Krishna consciousness cannot be disturbed at any circumstances. Even there is heavy suffering. Uh, that is the instruction of Kunti Devi. Kunti Devi is welcoming. Vipadasantu ta tatrata. Like that. Because before winning the battle of Kurukshetra, all these Pandavas were put into so many dangerous positions that is already described in the previous verses. Uh, sometimes they are offered poison, sometimes they are put into the house, where, lack, and it was set fire. Uh, sometimes big, big uh, demons, man eaters, and big, big fighters. Every time uh, they lost their uh, kingdom, lost their wife, lost their prestige, they were put into the forest full of dangers. But within all those dangers, Krishna was there with all those dangers. When the Draupadi was being naked, Krishna was there supplying the uh, claw. Uh, Krishna was always there. Therefore, Bhishma there, while he was dying, he was grandfather of the Pandavas, so when the Pandavas came to see him on his deathbed, so he cried that these boys, my grandsons, eh, they are all very pious. Maharaj Yudhishthi, the topmost pious person, his name is Dharmaraj, the king of religiosity. He is the eldest brother. And Bhim, and Arjun, they are devotees and so great hero. They can kill thousands of men. They are so powerful. So Yudhishthira is there, and uh, Bhima is there, Arjuna is there, and Draupadi is directly uh, the goddess of fortune. Uh, there was this. Uh, Injunction that wherever the Rupadi will be there, there will be no scarcity of food. In this way, the combination was so nice. And over and above them, Krishna is always with them. And still they are suffering. So he began to cry. I do not know what is the arrangement of Krishna. The such pious man, such devotees, they are also suffering. Uh. So don't think that because I have become a devotee, there will be no danger, no suffering. And Prahlanmana suffered so much, the Pandavas suffered so much, Haridas uh. Thakur suffered so much. But we should not be disturbed by those suffering. We must have firm faith, firm conviction that Krishna is there. He will give me protection. Kaunti name bhakta pranasyati. Don't try to take benefit of other shelter than Krishna. Uh, always stick to Krishna. Krishna says, Kaunti apriti jani hi name bhakta pranasyati. My dear Arjuna, you can declare it to the public that my devotees are never vanquished. Uh, why declaration was advised to be made by Arjuna? Why he did not declare himself? There is some point. Because this declaration, if Krishna makes, there may be violation, because sometimes he violated his promise. But if his devotee promises, it will be never violated. 
That is Krishna's business. Oh, my devotee has declared this. I must see that it must be executed. That is Krishna's position. He is so much attached to his devotee. Therefore, he said that you declare. If I declare, people may not believe it. <laughs> but if you declare, they will believe it because you are devotee. Your declaration will never be. Just a prasadat, Bhagavat prasad. Oh, Krishna wants to see that my devotee's promise is fulfilled. Oh, my promise may not be fulfilled, may be broken. So this is Krishna consciousness. We must stick to Krishna consciousness in all circumstances, even in the most dangerous position. We must keep our faith in Krishna's lotus feet, and there will be no danger. Thank you very much. Vedanta Swami Ite Namine Ite Namine